a gentleman come up to the booth before. He had a list of PBA champions. But it was when the bowler won their first title and like what order it was for the PBA history. Like Lou Campy was first, Dick Weber was third, and like the whole list of like as yeah, somebody became a new champion, they took like their spot on the list. Earl Anthony, when he won his first title, was 98th of the all-time first-time titleists on the PBA Tour. Or was it Walter Ray? I can't remember which one it was. Maybe it was Walter Ray was 98. I think Earl was quite a bit earlier than that. We've had 25 players on the PBA Tour win five titles, but only 20 players win four titles. Kind of a statistical anomaly there. Well, every time somebody wins his fifth, the group of four loses one. Okay. Didn't even think of it that way until you mentioned it there, Jeff. You're absolutely correct. But, of course, it's harder to win five than four, and then six than five. Yeah, another statistical anomaly is that we have nine PBA Tour champions that have won ten titles but only two that have won nine and both those bowlers of nine titles long retired Paul Colwell and Dave Ferraro the two bowlers with nine last bowler to add himself to the ten title list was EJ Tackett now Tackett at eleven Wasted no time getting that 11th title. With the striking against breast cancer mixed doubles win with Liz Johnson. Prior to that, last bowler to join the 10 title club was Wes Mallott. And the Roth Holman doubles with Norm Duke back in 2015. Approaching the end of game three, we will bring you some score updates. We will bring you some fresh faces to these extra frame pairs. Plus, check out all 10 pairs in action on all the alternate feeds here from Middletown, Delaware, and the PBA Extra Frame, Gene Carter's Pro Shop Classic. With extra frame on Flow Bowling. Actually on the front nine, shows eight there, he's on the front nine. Super senior out of Ardsley, New York. And he'll be coming up in the 10th with a chance to shoot the high game of the tournament. And that would be, if it happens, his first career. PBA, perfect game. Tim Foy Jr., hometown guy down in 17 and 18. Foy, looking for a possible 280 here in game three if he gets all three strikes in the 10th. You can 
split screen your feed on two cameras. Check out the action here on 13 and 14 while watching to see if Foy finishes off his big game as well. John Fury also over on 9 and 10, another feed if you want to watch it. Fury entering the ninth frame with the possibility of 279 still alive. Just in case you've forgotten, since it was so long ago we mentioned it, Pete DiCiara does and still has the front nine. And he is coming up right after Michael Houts here cleans up the seventh pin, seven pin. And DiCiara will now come up in the tenth with a chance at the best possible score in bowling. Chair one PBA 50 national tour event under his belt. That was back at the Giant Petragli BBL Open. Finished 34th. Made the catchers around in that matrix of fairness. Fairness. Before exiting the event. Best finish on the PBA 50 regional tour. It's just a couple of weeks back at the PBA 50 Ned Maselli Memorial. With the ninth place finish. Now on the front nine. Through the middle, six, seven, ten. So a good run for DiCiara, but no perfection this game. Maybe next game coming up shortly.